so here's one that's uh, a lot older. This one's probably, I would say it's almost 10 years old. So yarns move a little bit more freer. Uh, excuse the mess, this is a gem. Uh, so if we just look at our bridging capabilities, there's your low stomp. And you know, that's a pretty hard kick to the, to the knee. So you're out here at this range, you're out here at this distance, and basically he can't touch me, I can't touch him, so I, I kind of have the Largo range. Don't want any trouble. Low kick, closing, shift out to the outside. That's already an ear clap or a smack to the eye. Then you're in position. So for whatever reason, maybe I anticipate Sean moving here. I'm gonna move and shift off. I'm deploying my travel wrench and I'm really right here. So I've got this guy in position to where I can simulate movement, but at the same time, I can function and move around uh, to, to add different opponents, that nice. type of thing. So I like the silent fighter in regard to putting a bob in the game or a training partner, anything like that. Uh, looking at your weapon deployment. So if I'm engaged in the silent fighter, I got my low line kick, I've got my different sequences, closing in, they come out. I'm already here, got my travel, I'm inside, low punch, swing and gate, just like that, you know, swing and gate, inside, outside, straight punch in. You've got the low leg pickup, leg lock, that type of thing, switch that, leg lock, single leg hook, coming in to outbalance your opponent. Nice thing about the silent fighter is I can pull him off the wall if I need to. See. So I try to move him around quite a bit. That's why I call it Man Handling 101. Like I said, this one's probably 10 years old, so it's taken a, a pretty good beating. Um, All right, kellywarden.com.